Welcome to Good Mythical More. It's the craziest experiments performed on animals. Don't worry, no animals were harmed. I don't think. I was told this isn't gonna be icky. But first, we we get to do the secret handshake. Finally, it's been on. It's been on the wheel. We finally get to do it, and it says, "Make up a super top secret handshake." <laughs> 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 That's our secret hand. Oh, yes, clap, please. Please clap. Please clap. I like that. Hey, that's actually. That's a good one. We used to want to do like the, have like a Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff type thing, you know? Yeah, we wanted to have that. But like, we never committed to it. But I really like that. It looks like you're coming in for a handshake, like boom, and then psh. I mean, but if you, it's also good for somebody who's unawares. Be unawares. Put her there. Oh, what, <laughs> what country am I in? <laughs> you know, that's pretty good, right? Is this customary? <laughs> I don't think you'd grab it. Your I think I would grab it. Up. I would grab it with you. Do hands. it to me. Let me be unawares. Put her there! Why, don't, why are you rubbing it like that? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would do. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I won't do it again. <sighs> Studies that are weird about animals. But not sad. So don't uh, click away. Yeah. We'll see. And no, they're not sad. No sad. Maybe poop, though. It seems yeah, a lot of poop that there that. might be poop. Okay. Yeah. Well, in fact, Will the first one is one in which scientists studied how constipation, which I, I mean is is the opposite of poop, I guess. You know. Yeah. Uh, how constipation affects the mating prospects of this animal. What was the animal? Constipation, constipation affects, affects the, the mating, mating prospects of I'll tell gorillas. You, it, it affects this animal. I'll tell you right now. You know, I sometimes the last thing I want is a large torpedo. I don't when I'm know. Listen, to... sometimes it, it'll loosen things up. Yeah, kind of like it's kind of like trying to deliver a baby. Uh, you know, they say if you're get up if, and walk around. If you're and pregnant induce, and you want to deliver labor. a baby, you should have intimates. Yeah, get intimate if you're having trouble pooping. Uh, gorillas, what I said. Pooping out a baby, I mean. Gorillas. Mm. Why do you care? It's too, it, that's too obvious. Uh, oh. rabbits. It's something really not obvious. The, the least Does it possible. Make sense when Frank you tell us. Praying mantis. Is it gonna oh, be like? Okay, oh, okay, wow. okay. You're yeah. It's an insect. It's a bird. Worms. Ish. It's a spiders. Ish, it's an ish sect. Spider you're, sect. You're yeah. Okay, you're closer with spider. Scorpion. Yay! Scorpion constipation. Yeah. The effect of constipation on sex drive on scorpions. When scorpions shed their tails in order to escape predators, they uh -huh. lose nearly 25% of their body mass and the last portion of the digestive tract, oh. including the anus, which prevents defecation and leads to constipation. This does not affect females, but makes males much slower, thus making it more difficult to find a mate. Wow. And they so they shed their anus? Constipation anus as a result. Shedding. Yeah. They shed what? Anus. Their anus? They shed yeah. their anus. They shed their anus? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly how it sounded. <laughs> uh, guys. Was that your impression of me? I didn't, listen, I didn't want to tell this story, but it feels like the table has been set for me because something, something scarring happened to me last night. Come on up. Come on up to the play. Okay, uh, as you know, I have two dogs. Oh, no. And uh, <laughs> the TV's like, oh, no, don't. <laughs> uh, one's named Sean and one's named Barbara. Mm -hmm. And they're always playing with each other. Like, they get so aggressive when they're playing with each other. But it's playful, but then, like, Barbara will get, like, a little bit... Uh, like agitated and snap at him and it's basically like, stop it little guy, like I'm done with this, right? Yeah. And so they were on the bed uh, playing with each other and getting kind of intense actually while I was in my uh, therapy session, which I most of the time do online. And so, and I like had to like, I was like, hold on, my dogs are completely out of control. 
And I'm like telling him to like slow down and like chill out. I'm gonna like tell you get him out of the room. Now, one of the things that Sean has picked up on in his trips, what happens is he goes to doggy daycare, which he's like Jesse's out of town, so like they've been going like every other day, and. He comes back with bad habits, and it's usually, and actually, Barbara's the first one who brought humping back to the house. Like, when Barbara was an only child, she brought humping back to the house, and she started humping a little uh, stuffed dog that looked like her. We actually got it because it looked like her, and she would be humping it. Now, because she's been, like, attempted to be humped by these other dogs at Doggy Daycare, right? It's just learned behavior. Jasper learned that, too. Yeah, and so, Sean, Obviously, he comes back from the thing and he's picked up this behavior. In fact, it started with like we would be like in bed and he would you would realize that he was trying to hump your arm. And I'm like, Sean, dude, this uh uh-uh. this is not cool, bro. Uh uh-uh. uh, you know. And so we're having to stop him. Is and it so, under the covers or is so, it just an arm? That's and out? so w- the thing he started doing after he came back from doggy daycare this week is trying to hump Barbara. And now Barbara immediately like. Not pushes him it. away, not gonna have it or whatever. And again, they're both, you know, she's uh, spayed, he's neutered, so nothing can happen. But last night, again, after I told them to separate, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna tell this. Oh no. I turn around, and uh, let me just go, uh, spoiler alert, they were not engaged, but Sean was engorged. Okay. And first of all, let me say. No, don't say. Little bro's got something to be proud of. I mean, good Lord. I was like, this is like half at the his body length. I mean, and I was like, I didn't know that that could happen with a dog that didn't have balls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, I just didn't know. And it was, it was funny because I'm like in therapy, like working through emotions. And then I like turn around and see my little chihuahua with a- Lipstick out. Good, great, it was more than lipstick, man. And I, I was mad at him because like it's his sister, you know? And that's what we call Adopted. it. We, we, we call it, hey, that's your sister, man. Don't mess with your sister. And I'm like, Sean, this is so gross. Like, I, I didn't know what to do. And he was like looking at me, and you could tell that he was, I, he knew that I was upset. You just used some shears. Oh, hey! Don't make me think about that. And it was just like, it's been, it's emotionally scarring. I'm sorry I shared it with y'all, but like, I just. You I thought talk. it was going to get worse than that. Well, but no, no, but here's the thing. Now that I know that A, he's into this idea, and B, he's capable, boy is he capable, I'm worrying it's gonna happen, and I don't know what to do about it. Like, what do I do about it? And that's gonna like change the whole dynamic in our house if all of a sudden Sean and Barbara are like dating. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? I, I think they're just, you know, adopted siblings with benefits. Hey, come on now, man, I don't like the way you talk. I don't like the... <laughs> I don't like the way you touch my elbow <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I shake. Dude, So, yeah. I mean, what do I do about this? What did you do in the middle of therapy? Uh, I mean, my therapist, I mean, we have, a, we have a great relationship, and so I just started joking about it. I was like, I can't believe what just happened. I was like, Sean is trying to Barbara. And he just thought it was hilarious. And I was like, I can't deal with this, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, they need to be siblings. So do you think that it'll wear off? I think it's up to Barbara. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, if it lasts more than 12 hours, <laughs> call your vet. Off. I just don't know. I'm sorry. I just felt like I had to. Sh- I got to share it with somebody. Besides, I was besides scared. My I thought that there was like a butt thing coming. That uh, That's what I was. You that's... thought that they actually consummated. Well, no, I just thought some something happened to but because that was the connection to oh no i thought it i thought something i thought you had to like get cleaning supplies no 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 there was no it wasn't i'm saying it was it looks fully capable and so i'm like googling like i didn't know this could happen i didn't google that but i googled (laughs) (laughs) i'm like googling you're googling also like a dog with (laughs) can a neutered dog you know go, go with the act or whatever and it was like yes it will not be successful necessarily, but yeah. 
It's, it's just it's no different than you, man. I just feel like I'm, I'm living in a new world. I'm living in a world where when I go home, I might find my two beloved dogs having sex with each other, and it just makes me feel dirty. Well, it's, it's just not, it's, it's not what you had in mind. It's you know? not what I signed up for. It's not no. what anybody signed up for. Mm-mm. Yeah, they're not siblings. Ugh, this is such a bad segue. Well, hold on, I have but to Stevie, read you've got a boy, you've got a boy dog and a girl dog. Yeah. Well, I mean, does that so ha- do I. happen? No, yet? never happened. No. And so is so is Link. No. Well, y'all just wait. Y'all no. just wait until you're in the middle of your therapy, and no. it happens in your house. Then no. we'll be we'll be talking. Barbara needs to put him in his place. She did, and I think it, that's what's gonna stop it because she was like, uh, uh, what? And she barked at him and growled at him and he good. stopped. But when I turned around and was like, whoa, good lord. That should, that should do it. Encourage like, where, where does it go? Encourage that. You know what I'm saying? Where does it go? Encourage that. Unfortunately, this next experiment was called Faces and Behinds. <laughs> <laughs> Blank sex perception. Scientific papers successfully proved the theory that Blank can positively ID their friends and perhaps enemies simply from pictures of their rear ends. Baboons. Um, you mean like the ones with the red butts? Baboon gets a, gets a in, like an inflamed booty, and that's they love that. It's signature. It's 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 like a personal. It's like a snowflake. Is it not that close? Um, um, okay, macaques. <laughs> <laughs> macaques? Macaques. Is it macaques? Uh, bonobos. Mm-mm. Chimpanzees. Yeah. Okay. Chimpanzees. I would know that butt anywhere, they say. They can recognize their friends from their butts. I feel like I can recognize my friends from, my, from their butts, too. If I saw it I mean, all the hey, time. Uh, let's put, we'll write that down. If it was in my face all the time. <laughs> let's hear another. Australian and U.S. scientists teamed up to publish an award-winning experiment when they studied how contact with a live blank affects a person's willingness to gamble. It turns out people are more willing to do so as gambling tendencies are intensified by blank-induced arousal? Snakes. Snake arousal? That's not a thing. I hope it's not a thing. People look at snakes and... Blank induced arousal? Um, Think of the sexiest animal. Uh, You're in the right. Starfish. Area. (laughs) area, What's sexy about a starfish, man? Snake is. Yeah, I was just thinking something that was just like uh, seedy, you know, like not sexy. Like, oh, there's a snake here. That's hot. I was thinking snake too when I thought it was like a fear response, like a risk-taking thing. Like it's you wanna take a risk being next to a snake and get It's something right. venomous, right? It's something dangerous. Dangerous. Um, Lion. Australia and America. Spiders? Kangaroos are dangerous. Tarantulas. Wallabies. Nothing makes me wanna gamble like a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> well, a well-hung wallaby, but yeah. Oh, wow. Well. You're, um, cl- you're closest with snake. So it's a reptile. Yeah. Uh, monitor lizard, Komodo dragon. Um, it, a turtle. A sexy turtle. Um, frog. Like, uh, a really, like a really big lizard. I've a said the big ones. Dinosaur. Like an like a even bigger... Not that a dinosaur. Godzilla? (laughs) Bigger than a dinosaur. The presence of Godzilla makes you want to gamble. How could any An alligator. Yeah, well, close. A gator. A crocodile. A croc. A croc 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 Stress arousal. To gamble after contact with a live crocodile, the results suggest that high arousal can intensify gambling in at-risk players, but only if this feeling state is not perceived as a negative emotion. So basically, if you hold a cro- crocodile and are feeling good financially, you make bigger bets. Yeah, it's. It, I think it's just like... If you're holding a crocodile. It's a, it's a risk thing. It's like, I'm near this crazy animal and I'm alive. I can do anything. Yeah, a hundred on black. You know, like you just immediately start making weird choices. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go with crocodile. Crocodile. 
An Egyptian scientist won a Nobel Prize studying the effects that polyester, cotton, and wool trousers have on the sex life of this animal. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern here, guys. The poly So it's an animal that wears polyester, <laughs> cotton, or wool trousers? They put different kinds of pants on these animals. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? And found that polyester generated electrostatic potentials while the other textiles did not, basically making the male member shrink or deflate. What in the... What? Yeah, yeah, I, I can relate to this. Deflate? <laughs> You know, sometimes you put on pants and you're like, ah, these are sexy pants, you know? Sometimes you put on polyester and it just deflates like a balloon. Right. Uh, what? And they put it on an animal. So this is something that can wear pants and has a penis. Uh, I can see pants on a giraffe. I think it's probably a, a monkey of some sort. It's a macaque. Is it a macaque? No, this is an animal that you don't See, wearing pants. Oh, a horse. <laughs> <laughs> horse pants. I mean, what animals do we see wearing pants? This is an animal that like is, that's a is uh, classically category. used for testing, I would say. Rat. Oh, it's just a rat. Yeah. Rat, pants. Rats. rat pants. Rats with polyester pants. Rats, But this man. says, this study's findings that polyester pants decrease sexual activity. Yeah, the friction. Rats. Listen. Rats really make a lot of sacrifices for all of us. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, I really got to give it up to them. Yeah, wearing polyester pants in front of science. We do all kinds of stuff to them to make sure that nothing happens to us. Yeah, thank you, rats. A group of scientists found that when these animals defecate and urinate, they prefer to align their body axis axis with Earth's north-south geomagnetic field lines. Oh, wow. Oh, and that's yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. these animals are sensitive to small variations of the Earth's magnetic field. Deer. What? Deer. That's crazy. What'd you say? Deer. No. It's, clo it's closer to home. I like to face west when I poop. This is closer to home? Yeah. Gorillas. <laughs> Mountain. I meant like in the evolutionary tree. Um, oh, you mean like coyotes, like they're here. Closer. Raccoons. Uh, in oh, here. pythons. You mean we got one? We got one. You got, you got one. Oh, dogs. You got, you, yeah, dogs. Yeah, dogs, dogs. Horny sibling dogs. Well, here's the thing, not to bring it back to Sean, but. Dogs, go, they he, orient he takes themselves? so long to take a crap or to pee in the morning. Like, Barbara what? just goes out there and is just like, I know why I'm here. And Sean is like, I, I have to. My dogs are that way. I have to take all this, all this time. Jasper go won't go around. until Jade goes, and Jade takes forever to go. And is that why she turns around in a circle? Because she's doing Magnetic. the she's a compass. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we need to see if she's facing true north. Every why? Time. What did it say? Why they did that? Mm, they can. They're sensitive to small variations of of the Earth's magnetic field. I don't. I. It's to me. My new puppy. Like whenever she poops, it's like a surprise to her. Like that's what her reaction <laughs> is. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. it. It came out. You know, yeah. is she happy? No, she or just seems surprised. Indifferent. She's well, surprised. Well, she, you know, after we learn too that you have to, you can't tell her good girl like when she starts pooping. That will stop the. Pooping. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta wait you know. right when they finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I have to do with John. Well, I have to get. I have to give him freaking treats when he pees, when he poops, and then in order to get him to come back inside. But like. If I do those three things, he's it's like clockwork. First thing in the morning, as soon as I wake up, he's like, okay, it's time. He, and Barbara stays in bed. He goes down, he circles for at least 90 seconds, pees, circles for another two minutes, poops, and then if you don't give him treats, he literally, he's crazy, he comes to the door, stands there, and looks at you. That's like, not crazy, that's smart. No, he comes to the door and he's like, I don't know if I can trust you anymore. You know, that's what it looks like. It's like, I think maybe I'm, I think this is maybe where, where we part ways. I stay out here forever. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, but I'll give you a little hot dog if you come in. He's like, okay. But if you don't do that, he'll just stand at the door. <laughs> Even though it's open. Oh, yeah. We're like, what is wrong with it? He's been doing it ever since we got him. Just coming to the door and looking at you. Get rid of him, man. <laughs> Get rid of him. You don't like him. I don't like him. Nobody likes him. He's. <gasps> I'm gonna just I'm I'm just gonna let you dig this little grave that you're digging for yourself. I mean, he bit me. 
Am I supposed to like him? You deserved it. You stepped on your dog's tail. And he still didn't bite me. And he, then he, and then, and then, but he bit my dog when that happened. Yeah, right. And then yeah. he bit you after the process. Yeah. Now, you know what? I'm just joking. Last time I saw him, he was very civil. He was nice. Oh, yeah. He's, he he's nice. a sweet dog. He's so sweet. Sometimes he tries to, you know. Yeah, he was nice. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to get too nice. Yeah, that's what you got to watch out for. Yeah, should we do like the zoom through thing in the edit? Sure. But like, like put some cool music on it? Ooh, okay. like uh, royalty free dubstep. 